Hi, I'm Libby. Welcome to Libanavia. Today I'm preparing some crockpot meals that I'm going to put in the freezer to use so I've just got easy meals on hand to get going. So I thought I would film it and bring you guys along with me. I'm going to do three recipes and the ones that I've looked out are teriyaki chicken, southwest chili chicken and a vegetable curry which I might add chicken or fish to when I actually do make it. Uh, but basically I love using the slow cooker or crock pot, whichever one you like to call it, especially in autumn and winter and that's definitely where we're headed just now. So um, I've just been looking through some of the recipes that I've not actually made. I like to, you know, mark ones out to try and these were ones I hadn't tried. So this, these are the ones I'm going to try just now. Um, basically I've just been at Costco and I got a tray of chicken, their fresh chicken, and I got all of this in the UK here for under £13. So I think that's quite a good deal. So for the chicken recipes, I'll probably use maybe four breasts for each recipe and um, that will, it's just me and my husband, so that'll give us enough leftovers as well. But all of these recipes are great to either, you know, you can double them, have them, you know, to suit whatever you're, whoever you're making it for. So this will work out really well. I've got my label maker and some bags ready to bag it all up. But, you know, I'm going to put this in the freezer, but equally you could just stick the, all of it, what we're doing straight into the slow cooker and get going that way. But um, I just like to have the option of, if I can't be bothered cooking or I've not been shopping, I just have a meal in a bag ready to take out the freezer and stick in the slow cooker. And a few hours later, it's done and ready to go. Um, what I'll do also is I'll link all of the recipes and to where I originally got them from over on my blog and I'll link that down below so you can check that if you want to try any of these. But other than that, let's get going. So I've looked out all of my ingredients for the Southwest chili chicken and so they're all over here and the recipe calls for one and a half pounds of chicken. I've just put the chicken in here um, and that ended up being about three and a half chicken breasts in there. So then I just keep it in this glass bowl so I can pop everything in there. I have some frozen corn. I've done one and a half cups. I've got black beans. So I did about three cups of those, so like double the corn quantity. I'm gonna have two cups of salsa and three tins of chopped tomatoes, a packet of ranch seasoning and a packet of taco seasoning. And that's all gonna go in. Um, just checking down the recipe to make sure I didn't leave anything out. No, that's everything you need. So I'm just going to go and pop that all in. chili chicken and I've labelled it there so that will go on low for four hours then I'll shred the chicken and stir it back in and if I need to I didn't add all of the tomatoes so if I think it's quite dry I'll add the other one when I'm cooking it but that's that one good to go and I'll just freeze that and then take it out the night before I want to use it and stick it on the slow cooker so on to the next one okay so now on to the teriyaki chicken so you need four breasts four chicken breasts, so I've got them in the bowl and I've double bagged from the beginning this time. And some pineapple chunks, also the juice I've saved, um, the recipe says to use it, so that'll just give some more flavor and that's the natural pineapple juice. Some carrot chunks, some garlic, red onion, and the actual teriyaki sauce which is kind of to the lid so, to the brim so i don't want to spill it so now i'm just going to put all of those in the bag and mush it together and then label that bag up and we're ready to go <laughs> chicken all bagged up and labeled ready to go in the freezer and this one is going to go on low for eight hours when I make it um, and obviously you can serve it over whatever you like maybe rice or lettuce as suggested 
and at end of the cooking time I think you should it says to stir in a quarter of a cup of teriyaki sauce but obviously that's optional but yeah no, I think this one looks like it'll be really tasty so I'm looking forward to trying that so on to the next and the last one Okay, so I've looked out all of the ingredients for the last one, which is the vegetable curry. And I have everything actually, apart from curry powder, but I think it'll be okay, but I can always add that in uh, as seasoning when I'm actually cooking it in the slow cooker. So I have diced red pepper, cauliflower heads. I used to have all of the fresh cauliflower, but um, a few cups if you're using frozen. I've got chickpeas and normal garden peas in there, diced sweet potato, diced onion, and I've got a tomato sauce which I filled right up. It's going to spill, can you see? I was a bit optimistic with the bowl. <laughs> and I have some light coconut milk there and it calls for a chicken broth. Now, this is an American recipe, so this doesn't really transfer. We don't have an equivalent. Well, I don't know. We maybe do have an equivalent. Anyway, I've basically used the little stock pots that, that you dissolve into water the right amount. I don't know how well that will work, but um, I think it will give the flavor. But if anyone has any suggestion as to what's a good alternative for the American recipes that call for broth, let me know. Otherwise, I mean, I always just use like a stock or something. Um, they just don't sell it in the same way in the UK that I've seen, but if anyone knows, let me know. And the spices, I've got cumin, cayenne pepper, and this one is turmeric. I was thinking, cause this is in Swedish and I had to find it. Um, yeah, that, that's turmeric. So that's everything ready to go, I think. And as I said, I might decide to put chicken or something in when I actually do cook it, but I'll just put all of these things in just now. So I'll just go and bag it up. ready to be frozen and that'll go on the slow cooker at low for eight hours or you could do it high for four hours. Um, I have used like quite a thick tomato sauce and I wonder actually if like diced tomatoes would be better for more liquid so when I'm cooking this I might need to add more liquid but I'll just see how I get on when I do it. So I've got all three meals bagged up and ready to go into the freezer. So I really hope you enjoyed that and find that useful. What I'll probably do is do some sort of catch up and let you know what I thought of these when I cook them. And I'll put all of the information down below and also over, over on my blog. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.